Hello there and welcome to the second part of this Airbnb price prediction case study. So yesterday or uh, in the last video what I have showed you is basically these 20 different question if you see and uh, I hope by now you must have got some good understanding about this data set by Manu doing the manipulation and uh, identifying counts and dropping the values, imputing the values, all of that thing, which you generally do in any of the data science case study. In the last video, I have explained about the data set as well as uh, all of these 20 different questions. I went uh, like little bit in length uh, in each of this question about how to do this. Um, and as I suggested, you can do this case study in any of the two of your choice. Like it can be Python, R, Tableau, ClickView, ClickSense, Power BI, anything that you want. You can do this because all of these tools provide the functionality. And you will see my videos also like related to the Tableau, ClickSense and uh, some Power BI video I posted, but ClickSense video I posted posted R videos, Python videos, all of those videos basically indicates uh, how to solve these kind of problems. So uh, now let's look at the next 20 set of questions so that we can uh, we can go a little bit more in depth and see whether some modeling can be done. And if you have not seen the previous video and if you are you know coming on this video as a first video then I highly recommend that you view my last video where I have talked about uh, the data set and everything for at least five or six minutes to explain every column. So so watch that if you if you have not already because the next 20 question is based again uh, as uh, you have completed this these 20 question. All right so the question number 21 well now check the info of the entire data set. So based on what you did up and up here like uh, finding the most price of the properties available and doing imputation and all of those values all of those things let me just move this it takes its own time i'm not really sure how to to remove this but uh, what it so yeah good luck that's removed by default so drop the values where bedroom are equal to zero that's what i have explained or uh, asked you to do it and after you have done all of that i'm asking you to check the information of the data entire data set again so there is an info object which talks about uh, the data type the count of values and things like that so i want you to ex you know, experiment with that and get to know about that function after that you describe the entire data set and write your own observation so after doing all the uh, operation what you ha what I have asked in the first 20 or uh, to be specific in last five questions uh, out of those 20 question describe the entire data set again and write your own observations what you see from min max mean median standard deviation all of those things you know will come under the describe and uh, write your observations about what do you see do you see any missing value do you see there is a lot of difference between mean and median or uh, do you see like in 25 percent 75 percent quartile values uh, whether these goes as per your understanding of the data then uh, plot a histogram of reviews where bin r 20 and range is between 0 to 100 so that's where we are starting to do the uh, the statistical charting where histogram will going to show the uh, we will plot a histogram of reviews uh, and the review uh, with the bins where our bins are 20 and the range is between 0 to 100 so based on how many reviews been given you will plot it in these uh, 20 bins and then you will plot a histogram to of reviews where bins are 20 and range is now changed to 0 to 1000 so you should know uh, how to experiment with a histogram uh, so that uh, if uh, it is 0 to 100, 0 to 500 or 0 to 1000 so that you can see based on what range you are specifying histogram is giving you the good output. Okay next question is uh, plot a histogram of accommodates where of accommodates there is a this is a column accommodates 
where bins are 16. So here I have not asked for any range or anything, but simply bins are 16. So you can drop that parameter uh, from that function. Now uh, you need to plot a histogram for overall satisfaction. So overall satisfaction is again a rating given by the end user based on their stay uh, into the property and uh, you need to plot an histogram about that. Now we are extending this histogram uh, which is the overall satisfaction histogram if you see and we are saying uh, we need to plot a histogram where price is greater than or greater than equal to 100 and less than equal to 200 so this is a condition that you need to specify in the overall satisfaction now it's it's really a case about uh, knowing the right syntax of specifying the condition so this will going to help you uh, in picking up those scenarios where you want a custom values of a field like overall satisfaction based on the another field value like where the price price is a different field from overall satisfaction and we are saying we want overall satisfaction only for that price which is greater than 100 and equal to 200 and price is nothing but the property price that you will pay to stay over there after that uh, plot a histogram of overall satisfaction where price is less than 50 so Earlier we had two conditions. Now we are asking, I'm asking you to plot a histogram where overall satisfaction and uh, the price is less than 50. So why I'm asking you to do that? Because uh, this histogram will show you a different sort of shape as compared to the, this one. So you need to know how to differentiate between those two. It may happen that uh, they, these are skewed, maybe left skewed or right skewed, or there may be a very sharp uptick or a very sharp top uh, which is greater in length or as well as compared to this one so you need to know how to interpret uh, these two different histogram which is based on two different prices after that plot a histogram of overall satisfaction where price is greater than 200 so we have seen 100 to 200 less than 50 and then now for those which is greater than 200 so we need to see how what are the shapes which is coming for overall satisfaction in these three different scenarios and uh, whether they really skewed for example uh, let's say in case of uh, price which is greater than 200 whether the overall satisfaction is going more on the higher side as compared to the overall satisfaction which is less than 50 or you get a different observation altogether like in in, in a price which is less than 50 you get overall satisfaction which is more on the higher side as compared to the price which is greater than 200 in that case usually people are preferring the uh, the accommodation which is less than 50 and uh, they are getting a good satisfaction over there so why would you like to spend it on a, on a accommodation which is greater than 200 so this sort of observation will come and uh, as a company Airbnb also you may see that uh, why satisfaction is not great as compared to the other bins like 50 or 100 to 200 specifically if it is coming in the case of 200 so I'm just trying to giving you the scenario through which you may want to plot these kind of uh, histograms all right so after that you plot a histogram of overall satisfaction where price is greater than 300 so by now you clearly know why I am asking you this then is there a relationship between price and reviews so it's a different chart and relationship means what I'm asking you is a scatter chart that on y axis you have one variable let's say price on x axis you have another variable which is reviews and all the points are plotted on this and you will see whether there is a positive relation there is a negative relation what sort of relation there is a no relation at all so you need to know how to plot and interpret that so is there a relationship between accommodates and price so again same chart is there a relationship between price and overall satisfaction by now you will have an expertise in writing a chart which you can write it in two seconds and that's objective become an expert into into doing all of these things is there a relationship between price and bedrooms 
you can now tell it very clearly and within like few seconds after this plot the count of each neighborhood to understand in which neighborhood most of the availability of accommodation now this chart is slightly different if you will try to compare from histogram i'm not asking you to plot a histogram but i'm asking you to plot the count of each neighborhood to understand in which neighborhood most of the availability of accommodation so this is a tricky one it's a two step process so i would be really uh, interested in seeing how you are solving this remove the rows from the data set where price is less than 1500 and it's mainly because uh, those are like outliers if you will see if you will plot a histogram let's say you will see those values are mostly outliers and there is not more than like uh, 10 or 20 properties which is out there so i'm leaving this to up to you but i've given you the background why i'm asking you to do this then import the relevant sklearn libraries for splitting the data in test and train uh, as well as uh, import the library for linear regression i think there is a mistake while i was writing it i wanted to write data in test and train split as well as for linear regression so these two libraries you need to import so you need to know what are those libraries and you you need to know how to import that uh, then create a x parameter which is a independent variables by taking column reviews overall satisfaction accommodates and bedroom which are the numerical column so i wanted like very simple now just take these four columns and uh, and uh, create a x parameter which is independent variable then uh, create a y parameter as well by taking a price which i have not mentioned over here but uh, you need to create that and then you need to split the data in train and test by holding 30 percent data set for testing and making this as a reproducible output so it's a two-step process and you need to know how to do that then finally initialize and fit the linear regression just initialize and fit the linear regression and your case study or your questions uh, right now i'm stopping it there because there is a lot a lot it's a work of at least two three hours for a beginner to do all of this doing you know plotting interpretation and then finally trying to understand this so all of these questions these next uh, 20 question which is which right now the count is 40 earlier 20 and now this 20 like 40 questions and i will try to pre prepare i have prepared some uh, another five or ten questions for you but i'm still brainstorming what what could be really interesting for you to learn these data science principles and data science techniques and i'm creating more question for you so hoping that uh, maybe uh, by tomorrow i should be having those uh, another 20 question for you so it's a good 60 question think about it i mean uh, after this how much comfortable you will feel in in writing any of the program which is related to the data science so that's pretty much all i wanted to talk to you about this let me know what do you feel about these case studies and the question which i am posting uh, right now i am giving you these exercises which uh, which are helpful uh, in in doing the case study but previously if you see my previous videos i have also given you the solutions so take a hint from there take a hint from my um my uh, videos which is related to python or tableau or click view where i have posted a lot about uh, how to solve these kind of scenarios and uh, basically take an output which is more meaningful which is more interpretable and as an a uh, data science analyst or a data analyst uh, you can basically interpret whatever is uh, whatever data that is being given and you can start a project from scratch so that's about it a lot of talking and i hope you will be able to do this and uh, yeah i will be interesting to see uh, your outcome so if if there is a uh, you know github or on nb viewer if you are posting your spreadsheet and let me know uh, and uh, put it in a comment and uh, i will i will be very happy to see that so thank you so much for watching this video and please share uh, like and subscribe to my channel